Hey, hey, hey. Welcome everybody to Miss Glow's Kitchen where the sugar, spice, and everything nice where we slice, dice, and entice using everything we can from peppers to allspice. What's up my people? Y'all know what time it is? See y'all in the kitchen. Watch this. Check out those chitlins right there. I'm about to show you a quick and easy way to make these chitlins. So I'm going to show you from start to finish how to do this and it's quicker and easier than you think. Alright, so starting off, all you need is your chitlins. That's it. I am using pre-cleaned chitlins. So I'm using Aunt Bessie's pre-cleaned chitlins. So even though they say they're pre-cleaned, believe me, there's a piece on there that you want to take off if you want to have really, really, really good chitlins. So now what you want to do is you want to get your chitlins down into some cold water. Don't put anything in the water. No salt. Don't put anything. Just the chitlins. Because right now, I'm going to show you how to clean them very quickly. So if you do the ones that's not cleaned, then this video is not for you if they're not pre-cleaned. Because those chitlins, that's a whole nother ball of wax. So that is something totally different from pre-cleaned chitlins. So if you got those buckets then this is not the video for you right now. Maybe I'll do another one of those later on. All right, so now what you want to do is you want to take a look. I'm going to pick one up. Take a look at your chitlins. Now, if you take a look at it right there, you can see where there's, it looks like a shiny skin or a membrane on there. Now, what you want to do is you want to start somewhere, anywhere on the chitlin you want to. You want to start, and what you want to do is you want to pull that piece of skin off right there. You can see through it, it almost looks opaque. So when you're pulling it off of these pre-clean chitlins, you should be able to get this whole thing off. Now there'll be instances when it'll break off and you'll have to find your spot again to get that skin, but you get the gist of what I'm saying. You want to take that skin off. So don't leave that on. If you want excellent chitlins, don't leave that skin on. All right, so I'm gonna do like one or two of these. So I'm going to let you see how to do it correctly because there's a way to do it. Don't leave anything on there. Alright, so look at that. It's a good good size chitlin so I'm going to keep on, see? I'm going to keep on pulling that skin off. Usually it'll pull off in one whole piece but sometimes like I said it won't so if it doesn't um, just keep working. Just make sure getting this skin off and if you're not sure if it's chilling or that skin air on the side of its skin and take it off if you're not sure so that's all I can tell you to make it easier for you instead of trying to figure out and then putting something in your chillings you don't want so that's garbage so I got a garbage bag in the other sink so I'm making sure I have somewhere to put these these are quite smelly but it comes off your hand rather quickly and if you do it the way that I'm doing it, you won't have a stinky smell in your house either. So, there you go. Now, take a look at that chilling. You can nearly see through it. When I hold it up like that, you can almost see through it. So, that's what you want. All right? That's what you want right there. That is a clean chilling. So, you want to make sure. Yeah, everyone like that. That around the edges. Like I said, if you're not sure, take it off then. Um, if you got a, like a, it looks like a, like a little sack, if it's that shape right there, I usually break mine, I'll tear them because of the way that I like for mine to look after I cook them so I don't leave them with that sack. Looks like it could hold something, that round shape. So I will tear them into pieces or tear them until I get a flat chilling like that. All right. I almost see through it. All right, so that's one. We're going to go to another one. So after another one. Then we'll move to the next step. I'll come back after I'm done cleaning them. But once again, you want to go to the end of it. And what you want to do is you want to find that membrane. And you want to tear a piece like that. All right, because when you're looking at it, you can see. So you know. Because you can see this. It looks like it's a, it's a little bit shiny or something. So you can see it. Get started with it. Now see, this one want to act up on me. But that's why I'm telling you. So that's why I wanted to do more than one, because see? So sometimes you got to take your time, and you'll find that membrane, and you'll start separating it. And once you do, you're good to go. See, I was ripping the chilling right there. I don't want to rip the chilling. What I want to get to is that membrane, or that skin, rather. So there you go. See, I found it. That's what you do to find it. 
find it, find it, find it. Now, I don't recommend that you wear gloves while you're doing this because I don't think you're going to get the hold on the jiggling that you need if you wear gloves. But if you're doing it works for you, fine. Whatever works to get this to the point where you want to get it. <laughs> and that is a clean jiggling, honey. Okay, so now you get the gist of it. Same thing as the last one that I did. All right, so we'll move on to the next step because now you know how to clean them. Pre-clean jiggling stuff. So, all right, let's move on to the next step. All right, so you can see I'm done with the cleaning. I'm rinsing my sink out. Don't clean your sink yet. Don't. Now, what you should end up with is you should end up with a pile of skin like that. So, that's good. Good to go. Get rid of the stinky bag. <laughs> and uh, let's wash these again. So, what I usually do is I just dump them back in the sink again. The bowl on the side. And, all right, so I'll wash them after we had them in water, cleaned the skin off. So this was three bags, three bags. So that's what you end up with after three bags of pre-clean chitlins. Now I do, I do this. I do put a little vinegar right here at this point. Oh, vinegar, I don't wanna open, hold on now. All right, so I do put a little vinegar and this just for washing purposes. No, you will not taste the vinegar. They, the vinegar is just to clean the chitlin off really nicely. So now what I'll do is I just move them around a little bit and then what happens by the handfuls, I start rinsing them off and uh, putting them over in the bowl right there. All right, so rinse them off really well, put them in the bowl and move on to the next step. So moving on, we're going right to the next step. Get your stock pot or whatever pot you're gonna use. You don't necessarily have to use a really big pot. So what we're gonna do now is this is what we call our first boil. Now this is gonna boil the junk off the chitlins for us. So I'm gonna show you, all right? So you put your clean chitlins in the pot, all right? And what you wanna do is you just wanna put enough water, you wanna cover the chitlins, but I usually put extra water because at this point, uh, we're boiling to get rid of some of the fat and this is gonna help with the smell too, so. All right, so this is a little trick I learned from my mom and actually my dad too. So they always did boil these and then pour that first water off before we put the second water and the seasonings in. So now I'm just going to fill these up. Fill this up and then, not fill it up, but we're going to put it so it's covering the chitlins and then we got a little extra uh, water in there. So that's going to be enough. Just make sure your chitlins are covered and you got about an inch. So up to about that second line on your finger. So you got that much more water in there, at least, if not more, but at least one inch over. All right, so you see how it's at a rolling boil in the pot, right? The chillin's at a rolling boil. And the first thing you notice is you see a layer of fat on the top. But the second thing, if you can see in there, look, all of that, all that white stuff right there you see, that's why we boil these first and we don't put any seasoning in them. So now what happens is we're gonna rinse these off all of that white stuff that's on there, you want to make sure that that's off. What you want to put back in your pot is clean chitlins and fresh water. And that's when we start adding the vegetables and the seasoning. So let's do that right now. At this point, put a colander in the sink, a strainer. And what I want to do here is I'm just going to take a spoon. I'm going to take this out. And then I'm going to dump uh, this juice too. So I'll still have chitlins in there, so i got to dump it in the same sink. It doesn't matter. So you can see what I'm saying, that white stuff, that gook, that fat and whatever gook is on it, that's fine. So you, the gist, you get the gist here. What you want to do is you just want to get your chitlins out and you want to get them um, strained. So you want to get rid of this water. Now what you want to do is you want to wipe the pot out too. So make sure if you got that little white stuff in the pot, you wipe it out. All right, so I've set this on top of the empty pot while the other water is going out. But I have a really hard sprayer right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spray these really hard. Now, what happens here is you will not, you will see some of that, that little white stuff, you'll still see it on your chitlin. What that is, is that's fat. And for the amount of hours, three to four hours that we boil this, that's gonna boil off. So you will not see that at the end of cooking time. What happens here is you just wanna rinse or even wash these off as much as you can so you will not i repeat to you you will not get all of those little white particles off the chillings but don't worry about it because i'm telling you it's pretty much fat so we pretty much boiled the junk off here already so 
right here, once you wash them off really well, really, really well, then you're going to put them back in the pot again. So let's go to the next step. All right, so it boiled down to such a small amount, the three bags, that I decided to put it in a smaller pot. Now, I'm going to list, you see me talking, but don't, don't pay too much attention to that. What's going to happen here is I'm going to give you, I'm going to list all the ingredients down below. But my secret weapon for these chitlins is apple juice. Nope, you will not taste any sweetness, not taste anything. But what happens is this is going to give it a depth, another depth of flavor. So, you won't smell anything. Believe me, these are so damn good. Try it. Try the apple juice and tell me. I'm telling you, this works. I've, I've done this like three to four times now, okay? So I got the trio here, celery, onion, green pepper. And what I did was I gave them a small chop, a small chop or a dice, if you will. I like for mine to cook down in there, but I don't want them to cook all the way away. So I do like to have some greenery, some veggies you can see on my chitlin. So, okay, put them all in. So now at this point, we're going to put everything in. So we'll put in the apple juice, we'll put in the veggies. Now we will put in the seasonings, which as I said, I'll list them below. Put the seasonings in. Now, after the seasonings are all in, so you don't, you don't have to watch me do that. I'm going to list the measurements um, below. So after all of the seasonings are in, you're going to cook these chitlins for three to four hours. What happens after two hours is you will come back. You're going to come back and you're going to do a taste test. Yes, this is pork, so two hours you'll be able to do it. So what you want to do is, here's how you taste them. You take a spoon and you take some of the liquid out of the pot and you taste it. Adjust your salt accordingly. So make sure, don't over salt it, but make sure that you adjust your seasonings at that point. So if you need more of anything after two hours, put it in because that's going to give it a chance to cook that flavor down into your chitlin. So be really careful here, especially with salt, but you don't want to undersalt them either because it's not going to be a good flavor if you undersalt them. So what I will tell you is add a little bit at a time and keep tasting because that ensures that you don't over season your chitlins. But if you use this recipe right here, I'm telling you, you are going to get the tastiest, most tender chitlins ever. And people are going to wonder what you put in them and how you made them. But I am telling you that this is good. So watching this video, that's about a good 15 minutes long. I am showing you from A to Z how to clean and cook pre-cleaned chitlins. So get your seasonings in, as I said. Three to four hours will do it. You do not have to cook these all day. Three to four hours will give you a great tasting, tender chitlin. And trust me on that one. Trust me. Now I'm going to show you what they look like after they're done for that three to four hours. I'm going to give you a picture right now. Now watch this. Aren't they beautiful? Told you I got you. Look at that. All of that white stuff, it's gone. So what you probably see on there is garlic. Um, the seasonings I put in there, the pepper and some of that stuff. But other than that, enjoy your chitlins. Enjoy your holiday season. Thanks for watching. See y'all next time. As always, I appreciate you. Hit that like, subscribe, and share. Thank you.